Good morning, class. How are you all doing today? Good. All right. So I'm really glad to hear that. So let's get on today with today's lesson on the aesthetic experience. So before I even begin, in your own words, and please raise your hand, can anyone tell me what an experience is or means to them? Yes, Emma. What does an experience mean to you? Uh, an experience is something where you encounter like a memory. Or... Right. So experiences are basically are having encounters when you're when you're living life. So having memories can be an experience. Maybe you had a memory that made you remember remember a pleasant experience in life, perhaps. You know, very good response. So now we're going to go ahead and tie it in with aesthetic. And I know aesthetic is kind of like one of the more like challenging words. Maybe not all of you may be familiar with it, but would anyone care? And please raise your hand. Would like to take a shot at it of tackling what they think an aesthetic is. Yes, Emma. Something you see pleasing. Right, exactly. So, an aesthetic is basically the appreciation of beauty. So when we put aesthetic and experience to the experience, I'm sorry, when we put aesthetic and experience together, we get aesthetic experience. So, and, and to you guys, what does an aesthetic experience means to you, or what do you think it means to have an aesthetic experience? And please raise your hand. Yes? Uh, actually having that memory of seeing something like that's beautiful. Right. could also be remembering a moment where you saw something pleasant and you experienced it and that's how you remember it, right? So an aesthetic experience, it could be like going outside and a simple pleasure such as looking into the sky. You could look at the sunset. Look in the mountains, look at the trees around you. Nature is full of aesthetic experiences that most of us take for granted because thanks to our phones, a lot of us, most of us don't really get to experience the simple pleasures in life anymore. So when we look at the aesthetic experience, it's about being able to appreciate what you encounter in life and be able to tie it in with an artistic appreciation of beauty. So. When artists look at the sunset, they get inspiration from the colors, right? You see like the oranges, the reds, the violets, all interacting together with the baby blues. And it just makes us feel very great. So today we're gonna be making marbled textures with different types of colors. And then you see we have, I have one here already pre-made and the way we're going to be making these marble textures is that we are going to be making colors move in milk. So, kind of tying in from the previous lessons, from what we learned in science, in our lessons in science class, is you guys learn about molecules, right? So, first of all, before I begin, can anyone tell me what a molecule is? And please raise your hand. Yes, Emma. A molecule is made uh, with a positive and negative having two or more um, bonds or something like that. Okay, close enough. So basically, from what we were, just to review from what we learned and when we're studying molecules from last week, a molecule is basically an electrically group of two or more atoms held together by chemical bonds. So it's basically kind of like it's more than one atom being joined together, right? They're like glued together by a chemical reaction. And so when we're looking at milk molecules, we have three different types of molecules. We have water, we have fat, and we have protein molecules. The water molecules have one positive charge and one negative charge. The fat molecules don't have any charge. It's just fat. And so the protein molecules have a variety of different positive, negative charges, and, and, and there are a lot more than the water molecules. And so, 
When we have and add a detergent molecule, a detergent molecule basically has only one negative charge, right? So we're going to be taking this negative charge and we're going to be adding it to the positive charges. And so basically when the negative charges interact with the water molecules, it kind of causes a reaction for it to do some for the for the colors to move in such a cool way that we can all get to experience today in just a minute. And so when you have all these negative charges from the detergent molecule, it causes all the all this crazy like reactions going on all at once and it creates perhaps you might get an aesthetic experience from what you're about to see. So are you guys excited? Yeah! Alright, I'm glad you guys are excited. So, let's get to it. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own aesthetic experience using colors and milk with detergent. Alright, let's get to it. Okay class, so uh, before I begin, I'm just going to brief you guys quickly about the materials that we're going to be using for this project. So, we'll be needing food coloring, detergent soap, a q-tip, and some milk. And so the first step what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and carefully pour the milk into your pantry. In this case, it's a glass pl plate. Alright, try to get it nice, fill in the center. Okay, and the next step that we're going to be doing is we're going to be going ahead and adding uh, food coloring into our pantry. So, when adding the food color, be sure to be drip the get really close with the milk so that it doesn't splatter everywhere. But just get really close to the not to the point where the nozzle is touching the milk, where it just drips right in the center, just like that, and do two drops. All right, so there's one. I'm going to add in another color and spreading out there you see maybe I did a little too rough but we'll go ahead and add some more colors to it one two alright my third color one two okay now here's the cool part we're going to grab our q-tip and we're going to go ahead and smother it in soap Try to get as much soap as you can. The more, the better. And now here's the cool part. Brace yourselves. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and dip our Q-tip in the center of all the colors. And watch what happens. Look at that, you guys. See that? See the color of movements? And you can go ahead and get the edges too. Kind of just like play play around with it. See how all the colors expand. You can just leave it on there and just watch the movement of colors. Kind of getting like a green feel. Yeah. You can also just move the colors. Just have fun, you know. So with the chemical reactions from the detergent soap, it interacts with the water, fat, and protein molecules, positive charges, causing a reaction to disperse the colors. So that's how we're making the colors move. Other than that, I, I would say it creates some fantastic movements right now. Just go ahead and play around with it like that. I can also just swerve it. We don't want to go. We don't want to get it too murky looking or too fo uh, uh, foggy, because don't be very gentle when handling the Q-tip. Because otherwise, if you just do this, it's just gonna create like not such a great effect. Let's put it that way. What we want is a nice marble texture. So this is what we're creating with the milk, and we can get some really cool stuff with this. Yeah. So, now that you guys know how to make your own aesthetic experience 
using milk and detergent and food coloring, we are now going to go ahead and print it using watercolor paper. So this part is going to may be a little tricky, so pay very close attention. When adding the watercolor paper, we are going to go ahead and just place it right over. And don't, don't be so concerned if you don't get the whole page cover. Leave at least maybe like about a good section where you can give it a name and put your own name on it too as well. So we're going to go ahead and just dab the watercolor paper into your milk. See what happens. Just leave it like that. Just kind of push onto it. We want to. Make, we don't want to move it too much. Otherwise, it's going to distort our awesome visuals that we got earlier from our colors moving on the milk. So, and yeah, it's good enough. And we're going to take it off like that. And ooh. So if you get a little bit of milk running, you can go ahead and just hold it like this over your plate and just let the, the colors ride around. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and take this guy out and set it on a drying rack right here. And while that dries, we're going to go ahead and give our art piece a name. So, when looking at your art piece and before actually adding your watercolor paper, while you are actually are doing your aesthetic experience pro uh, activity, we're going to, once you feel like you had enough fun time playing with the colors, we are going to answer three questions. And you're going to be writing this in your notebooks. So the first question is going to be, what does the effect look like to you? The second question is, what colors do you see? And the third question is, how does it make you feel? So, you're going to go ahead and answer all these questions. And by answering these questions, we're going to go ahead and using our results, generate a name for our art piece. So, I think it's about dry now. So this is what I got. And as I was making this, what did the effect look like to me at first? Well, it kind of looked like a grass field, actually. And it, the colors got a little distorted. This is why we have to be careful when we put our watercolor paper onto our uh, pantry dish. So it got, what colors do I see? I get a lot of greens, turquoise, yellow. And the last question, how does it make me feel? It makes me feel like when I was at the park. When I was a kid, I used to love going to the park because I like rolling in the grass. And there's nothing more fun than rolling grass, right? So we're going to go ahead and call it Grassy Roll. So that's the name I came up with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, using the dry part of your art piece, we're going to call it Grass C roll. All right, and now we have our own record. We recorded our own aesthetic experience using milk, watercolor, and detergents. And this is our, and it's kind of like taking a photograph, but you're taking a photograph of your experiences. So. When handling the materials class, let's be sure that we do not spill, splash any milk or squirt any of the materials into each other. And we are also going to make sure to be kind and generous and be sure, do not, I repeat, do not drink the milk, do not drink the soap, do not put any of the food coloring in your mouths and let's be smart and let's be safe when using the materials. So, I repeat, do not put the do not drink the milk, do not drink the food coloring, do not drink anything in your plate, and we do not definitely do not want to drink the soap or put soap in your eyes because that very that stings a lot putting soap in your eyes. I hate it when it happens. So, we're going to avoid those things, okay? 
and I, and I trust you guys. So let's go ahead and gather our materials. Now it's your turn to make your own aesthetic experience. class so I hope you all enjoyed creating your own aesthetic experience and now we are going to share our artworks with the class is there anyone who would like to share uh, their artworks and share what they named their artwork Ooh. yes Emma okay so with my project I named mine Mr. Alien ah what a, what a creative name and how did you come up with a name for your project well with Question number one, uh, it looks like a face to me because you can see the two eyes and then like the nose and the mouth. Oh, okay. And then with number two, uh, the reason why I call it Mr. Alien is because since I see a face and the color is like that has that green light, yellow and blue, mm -hmm. it reminds me of a face of an alien. Oh, okay. And would you like to tell us more of how you came up with a name for your artwork? Uh, and also, with going with number three, it makes me feel scared. Oh, It makes me feel scared? Well, I would be scared too if I saw an alien. Well, Emma, there's nothing to be afraid of because hopefully no one's an alien in this room. So, okay, okay so thank you for sharing your artwork with the class. Good job, Emma. So. I hope you all had fun with this activity on the aesthetic experience. So we learned what aesthetics are, we learned what experiences are, and we also learned how molecules interact with each other as well. So I hope you all had fun and try to go out there, explore the world, and get as many aesthetic experiences as possible because that's what makes us human. So thank you and I hope you appreciate my lesson.